Hey friends, in this video, you will learn about a super generous, fully funded scholarship worth $138,000 to study for free in Canada. This scholarship would cover your tuition fee, other mandatory supplementary fees, including a living allowance worth $8,000 per term. If you would like to uncover this treasure with me, then stick with me to the end of this video because in this video, I will cover the basic eligibility requirements, the courses available, and most importantly, how to apply to this scholarship. And also, at the end of this video, I will show you three bonus scholarships in this university that you can also apply to. The good thing is that two of these scholarships are automatic. You don't have to apply for the scholarship. If this sounds interesting to you, then hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. This is the homeland of international opportunities and you definitely want to be part of this family. Do not forget to get my scholarship ebook with numerous letter of motivations from scholars who have won different scholarships. The link is in the description box below. Let's get it started. Today we are looking at undergraduate scholars entrance scholarships and this is at Simon Fraser University in Canada. From the comment section of my videos and also through emails, I know a lot of my subscribers need undergraduate scholarships. So here it is. So here you have a fully funded undergraduate scholarship that you can apply to and study for free in Canada. This scholarship is open to all international students as well as domestic students who are already in Canada. It is open to scholars who are in the final year of their high school or secondary school or those who just graduated in the past year from high school or secondary school, depending on what it is called in your country. For this video, I will be more focused on international applicants. So right here, you can see the name of the scholarship because this university, there are other scholarships. So this is the International Undergraduate Scholars entrance scholarships with distinction so the value of this scholarship is approximately one hundred and thirty thousand dollars one thing you will notice here is that the scholarship is in two categories so there's a scholarship for one hundred and thirty thousand um, dollars and this will cover your tuition fees and mandatory supplementary fees for completion of an undergraduate degree so the good thing is it's going to cover your tuition fee and other important costs and the second category is um the is a situation whereby you get the 130,000 and also 8,000 um dollars for your living expenses isn't that interesting before i give you more details let's take a look at the deadlines right now this scholarship is closed regardless i'm making this video because this scholarship is going to open again very soon so although this scholarship is closed right now it is going to open again approximately October 5th, 2023 till December 15th, 2023. So this timeline right here is for 2022. So therefore, if you are aware of this scholarship right now, it will give you more time to prepare for October so that October you are ready to submit your application for admission as well as for this particular interesting scholarship. If you come down on this page, you are going to find the timeline written out more clearly. So you can see the timeline the deadline is the 15th of december and you can see all other activities till the classes begin in september so in this case if you apply by december 15th 2023 you are going to start your classes september 2024 okay guys haven't gotten that out of the way let's take a look at the minimum requirements to be considered for this scholarship so right here we can we can take a look at it together so the first thing you need to note is that you should be applying for the fourth term and then currently you are completing your final year of the high school or you can call it secondary school or you have graduated from high school in the past year and have not enrolled in any post-secondary courses which means that you have not started university in your country or wherever and as expected you have to meet the admission requirements for the particular program that you are applying to or that you are interested in we are going to take a look at the programs very soon so stick with me and i'm also going to show you how to go through the admission requirement but first let's take a look at the basic requirements this scholarship requires those with very good grades and they have stated that you need to have at least 90 percent range on those courses that are required for um, admission into your primary program depending on the course you are interested in you will need to have at least 90% in some subjects. For example, you are applying to study biochemistry in this university, which is your primary program. 
then they might require that you have um, 90 percent and above in physics in chemistry and maybe in biology you might not have 90 percent in all your courses in all the subjects you did in your secondary school but you need to have at least 90 percent range in the, the 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 courses that are required for the particular program that you are applying to you also need to demonstrate excellence in both academic and extracurricular activities you also need two references so right now let's take a look at the admission requirement because you need to meet the admission requirement so i'm going to click on the admission requirements and we can go into that page so once you get to the new page you just have to come down a little bit and on the right hand side you can see um, high school or secondary school and right here since we're talking about international um, students so click on international country specific if you click on that it takes you to another page and right on this page you can select your country so that you can see your country specific requirements for um, this university so what you have what you have to do is to come to the drop down menu and select your country so for this example i'm going to use nigeria so uh, once you click on that it shows you your country and it shows you all the requirements including the english language requirements you can see right here for example you need a minimum grade of c or a score of five or six in senior mathematics for admission and you can also see general admission requirements um, west african examination council or senior school certificate um, examination so right here you can see everything you need to know depending on your country or the country you have searched for and you can also see faculty and program specific requirements so you can um, go into the faculty that you are interested in and take a look at the minimum requirements let's go back to the english requirements and um, one thing about this university is that if your first degree was taught in English, you do not need to submit test scores like IS or TOEFL. Uh, however, let's go into see more details and check that out. So you can see as applicant to undergraduate studies, you must demonstrate English language competence in one of the following ways. The first category are for those who completed their secondary school in Canada and they must have a minimum of 70% in their English grade. For those who come from English speaking country and completed their secondary school in English language, they need at least 70% also in their English um, um, course. And you can check out other categories and see the one you belong to. So this basically means that if you have scored 70% and above in your English um, senior school level um, examination, then you are good to go. Right now we are back to the very first page and I'm going to leave a link to this page in the description box and also in the comment section. So one thing you also need to, to take note of is what is included in the application process. So we're not talking about the application process yet, but we just want to take a look at what is included, what you need to note. So the very first thing right here is community involvement and achievement. So this is very important. You can read through this. You have to show your extracurricular activities, what you have done um, to make you stand out from other applicants so that you're able to win this scholarship. And also you need to uh, provide a short essay so this is about 500 words essay and um, I think you need to get the scholarship ebook. You can get some ideas from there, but your scholarship essay has to be very personal. So you have to describe your personal experience and how they have shaped your outlook on life and how this can connect to your future. Now talking about the references because you have to provide the references. So in this case, you just have to provide the contact information of the referees. And when you submit your application for the scholarship, the referees will be contacted by the university and they will be sent a link where they have to fill in um, whatever question that the university wants to know about you. And thereafter, they can send the link um, electronically. So they don't have to submit any document. They don't have to write a letter of, of reference and, and upload. They just have to click on the link sent to them by the university, fill out whatever information that is necessary and click on submit and that is all. So right here, they have already broken it down to academic reference and community involvement and achievement reference. So for the academic reference, you have to use a high school counselor or a teacher or administrator who best knows your academic ability. And for the second category, community involvement, you need to use someone in a supervisory role 
um, who was part or who supervised part of your extracurricular activities or whatever achievement you have had, someone who was um, the, the head or had a supervisory role, then that person will be most likely to give um, a reference for your scholarship. This person cannot be a family member. Okay guys, if you've gotten any value so far, do well to hit the like button, also share this video to your friends and family and those who just finished their high school or those who are in the final year of their high school or secondary school. So this video will really be beneficial to them because they can, uh, they have the opportunity to get a fully funded scholarship to come over to Canada for their bachelor's degree. Before we talk about how to apply to this scholarship, let's take a look at some of the programs that are available in this university. So what you have to do is to come down on this page and if you look at the left hand corner, you can see programs. So you just have to click on the programs. It takes you to this page and if you come down a little bit, you can find program options. So right here, you can click on program options to take a look at the undergraduate programs. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, on this second page, you can decide to list all the programs alphabetically by clicking on this um, button right here, view A to Z list. Or you can decide to um, take a look at it by faculty base. You can see different faculties and depending on the faculty that you are interested in or you feel like your course is going to be under. For example, if you are interested in environmental studies or science, you can go into any of these faculties. So let's go into environmental and then you can see the different programs or the majors that are available in this particular faculty. So if you're interested in any of these, you can go in and click on the, on the course and thereafter you can go ahead to apply because the application button is going to be in the inside the program so for example you are interested in environmental science um, bachelors you can click on the program it takes you here and um, you can read through learn more about the the course and thereafter you can come at the top you can see how to apply you can read this to know how to apply however you can come to the top right here and click on apply if you click on that it takes you to this page apply to sfu and um, you can read more details about this page admission requirements and all of that and one thing you need to note is that you are applying for the fourth semester so here you have first um, four um, semester 2023 but in this case we are interested in fourth semester 2024 however it is not yet listed here uh, we only have spring 2024 that is listed uh, that is going to start um, August August 1st 2023 to September 15th 2023 we are waiting for the four semester 2024 so it is not year yet all you have to do is to come down and um, you can see ready to apply start your application you can click on that you can also come down here and click on sign up and apply so once you click on that it takes you to the application portal where you can sign up and start your application process and also you need to submit your documents documents that are necessary so you can click on submit your document to go into that portal where you can upload your document and these are the benefits you can increase or maximize your chances of early admission by submitting the necessary documents on time and one thing you can also see right here is see non-refundable fees so sadly there's an application fee of 81 dollars so i think that should not be enough to stop you from applying to this university and um, also getting to apply to the scholarship you do not have to worry about the um, deposit if you are accepted because this is definitely going to be covered by the scholarship so you can check out more faculties to see what is available or you can use the a to z list to check out different programs in different um faculties so you can see right here there are a lot of programs and i'm quite sure you are going to see or get the program that you are interested in in this university so the list is long so right now we are back to the very first page and we want to talk about how to apply to this particular scholarship undergraduate scholars entrance scholarship uses so this page will definitely be updated when the scholarship is open for now we still have details of the one that just passed before october 5th 2023 this page is definitely going to be updated with the new um, scholarship when that time comes what you have to do to apply is to come down right on this page and you can go to minimum requirements uh, to be considered and right here if you come down a little bit 
you can see this right here if you meet all the requirements above you are encouraged to apply so there's a link right here where it says apply for um uses so once you click on this link it's definitely going to take you to the application portal right here, as you can see on the screen however for now we can't do anything here because like you already know the scholarship deadline for this time has passed and it's going to open again in october so we can wait to that time and for now you just have to prepare read through the pages and um, their contact information uh, for the university so you can ask questions so you can use this time to prepare for your application before the scholarship opens and finally here is the bonus scholarships i promised so on this page if you come down on this page you are going to get some scholarships but i just want to talk about three they are still in this university so the three that i'm interested in is this particular one i'm definitely not going to try to pronounce the name i'm just going to start from memorial entrance scholarship so if you open that you can see that the value of this scholarship is ten thousand dollars and it's going to be paid four times so um so the number of scholarship available varies and it is open to canadian citizens permanent residents of canada as well as international citizens and it also applies to the four term you can find out more details about this scholarship uh, by clicking on the title right here of the scholarship and the second scholarship bonus right here uh these two as you can see so these other scholarships entrance scholarships they do not require application so no application required you just have to apply to um you just have to apply for admission and then you are good to go so for these ones you'll be automatically considered for these two scholarships and uh, the first one right here is twenty thousand dollars which will be paid eight times uh two thousand five hundred dollars it's time so the scholarship is just for one person hopefully you are the local person and you can get more details right here but the interesting thing is that it is open to international citizens and then uh, and also it is also for the four term and the, the second scholarship here is ten thousand uh, dollars that is the value the number varies so it can be more than one or it can be many and it is open to only international um, citizens and then uh, it's also for the four term so you should definitely uh, prepare your application and apply for one of the courses or the course of your interest for the four term and apply to these scholarships why you will be automatically considered for these two you can apply to this third one and also the one that we've talked about in this video so guys that will be it i hope you got some value and i hope that you're going to apply to this scholarship i definitely want to see you at the top um, if you are looking for a graduate scholarship, then you definitely want to click on the video showing on the screen right now. If you want to study with a fully funded scholarship in Australia, click on the video and I will see you in that video.